Hello everyone and welcome to Mechatronics and Robotics tutorials by using Robot Operating System. In this tutorial we will learn how to install TurtleBot 3 robot simulation environment in ROS Noetic and how to visualize this robot in RVIS. Then we will also learn how to move this robot in the RVIS simulation environment. The main motivation for creating this video tutorial comes from the fact that you will often need a simulation environment and a digital twin of a robot to verify path planning, navigation and SLAM algorithms. A very popular robotic concept is a turtle bot. Basically, it's a differential drive robot with cameras, lighters and sensors that can be used to verify and, and experimentally test advanced robotic algorithms. Also, I noticed that online there are a number of tutorials that explain how to install the TurtleBot simulation environment. However, these tutorials are either incomplete or they are obsolete and consequently they will not work for ROS Noetic distribution. Consequently, I am creating this tutorial to once for all clarify the installation process. But before I start with explanations, I would like to mention the following. It took me a significant amount of time, energy and planning to create this completely free video tutorial as well as almost 400 free video tutorials that you can find on my YouTube channel. And consequently, I kindly ask you to press the like and subscribe buttons. Also, feel free to leave any comment or a question you might have in the comment section below this video tutorial. Thanks! Here is a TurtleBot robot that follows an elliptical or circular trajectory, it doesn't matter. And over here I'm running a node, that is more precisely a teleop node that can be used to control this robot. For example, if I press S the robot will stop. Then if I tr press W the robot will move slowly by following a straight line. And over here you can see the line that's being followed or better to say a tangent to the trajectory. I can increase the speed by increasing or by pressing several times number W, as you can see over here. Now, if I want to move left, I will simply press A. And over here you can see what's happening. And here it is. This is the tangent to the trajectory. Now, again, if I want to stop, I will simply activate this window and I will press S. Then if I press D, robot will rotate around its axis and I can increase the rotational angular velocity like this. And again I can press S for robot to stop. You will learn how to do this in this video tutorial. Moreover you will learn how to install this environment. Okay so let's start. The first step is to create our workspace. To do that, click over here, then type CMD to start the terminal. Let's see where we are. Okay, the first step is to create the workspace folders. Over here, the name of the workspace folder is Test Turtle Bot. You can change this name and you can give it some other name if you wish. And we are creating inside of this folder another fol folder called SRC, which is short for source. Don't change the name of source. Okay, so let's see our new folder. Where it is? Here it is. Test turtle bot. Perfect. Next, let's navigate to our source folder. We can do that by typing cd tilde is a short notation for home test turtle bot source. And we are here. The next step is to clone the necessary TurtleBot packages and files. We need to perform clone command three times. We will clone from this GitHub repository that contains the TurtleBot files and packages. So let's do that. First, we will execute this command. It will take some time to do that. This is the basic TurtleBot package. Next, we need the package for messages. 
since we want to communicate with RVIS simulation. Consequently, we need to paste this clone command. Okay, that was quick. And finally, we need to clone the simulation package. Okay, we cloned all three packages. Next, let's navigate to our main workspace that is over here. And finally, let's type catkin make to make the whole environment. Okay, this will take some time depending on how fast is your computer. The final step is to source our packages and our workspace. We do that by typing this command given over here and it's simply copy and paste it over here. Okay. Next, we will simulate the robot motion in Arvis. For simulations, we have three options. That is, we can choose three different robots. And to illustrate that, I will simply go to the main website of the TurtleBot 3 and here it is. We have three options. We have this robot, we have this robot and we have Waffle 1 which is essentially the same as this one. I will select this option, Burger. So let's select that option. Go back to the terminal and type this export TurtleBot 3 model and select Burger. Perfect. Before we open the RV simulation, let's explore the installed packages. So navigate to your folder and over here under source, we have three packages. For us, the most important is this one. And over here, we have a package TurtleBot fake. We will use a launch file to bring up the simulation environment. To do that, go back to the terminal and simply type this command. And let me bring back this nice document so you can see what I'm actually typing. I'm actually typing this command. ROS launch turtlebot3 fake turtlebot3 fake dot launch. And here's the file. Let's execute this file. And let's see the output. Here it is. And voila, here it is. Here's our robot, its CAD model, and we can see it clearly over here. Looks so nice. However, we cannot move this robot. That is, we cannot simulate it. To simulate this robot, we need to open a new terminal and we need to run a special node. The name of this node is Teleop node. This node will read information from the keyboard and it will send proper commands to our robot. To do that, first open a new terminal. A lot of people are forgetting that once you open a new terminal, your workspace is not anymore in local memory space over here. Consequently, you need to source everything. That is, you need to run this command. Okay, after that, you need to run another command. You need to select the proper robot model. That is, we're using burger. Consequently, you need to type over here, export turtlebot model burger. Okay, and finally, we can launch our teleop node. We do that by executing this command. Here's the command and I will simply paste it over here. And let's see what happened over here. We obtain this message. Control your turtle bot tree. Moving around ASWXD, left, right, up, down, S is stop. So let's try to move this robot. Now, activate Arvis and try to press A or D. Nothing happens, right? Or S. Robot doesn't move. 
To move the robot, the corresponding terminal from where you started, the teleop node should be active. So consequently, you have to bring back this terminal and put it somewhere over here and click it over here. Okay, now this terminal is active and we can still see our simulation environment. And let's type, for example, W. Aha, uh -huh. we can see that the robot is moving. Perfect. You can move the robot left or right by simply activating the corresponding terminal and by pressing, for example, D. We are moving the vector clockwise and you can press A to decrease the angular acceleration and to change the direction of revolution. Perfect. You can eliminate these arrows that can sometimes be very annoying by clicking over here. Here it is. Let's drive this robot a little bit. Again, make sure that this terminal is active and then press S. Now, let's press X and let's see what will happen. Aha, uh -huh. robot moves in the opposite direction. Press S. Now, press W. You can see that the robot moves very slowly. However, if you press W several times, you will actually increase its velocity. And that's it. You can play around and you can move your robot. Perfect. Okay, let me show you one more thing. And this thing is very important for those of you who want to program this robot. So bring back the terminal and open a new terminal. In this terminal type, ROS topic list. And over here we can see all the topics that are being active. Another very import, important command is ROS node list and we can see the list of running nodes and here it is TurtleBot3 fake node and TurtleBot3 teleop keyboard and of course we have Arvis perfect okay that would be all for today I hope that you like this video if you like the videos I'm creating please press the like and subscribe buttons thanks a lot and have a nice day